Hi guys, I just want to share with you a namespacing convention I've been using recently for my CSS names, which I've called COM namespacing for component, object, and model. Basically, a component can go inside an object, and an object can go inside a model. Um, you can have multiple components inside an object and multiple objects in a model. But you can't have an object on its own without any components or a model on its own without any objects. So here's a really basic example of a model, which is a bike, um, two objects, which are wheels, and the bits that make up the wheel, which are the rims and the tire. As you can see, there are multiple components in an object and multiple objects in the model. Um, this method is used for um, taking components that could be used over and over again on a page. Um, and as you can see here, we have two rims, two tires, and two wheels. So obviously you won't actually be using this method, unless you're making a CSS bike, um, this isn't really useful. So let's use a real world example. So here are three components and one object in their basic form. We have a logo component, a link, and a text block. And the object contains three links. Here is sort of a real world example with a header, a footer, and a middle bit for the text block. So let's look at the header. There is a model which is a header, conveniently named, the logo, which is a component, and the object's navigation, which has the three links. So these, the logo and the link are in their, um, sorry, the logo and the object navigation are in their original form. Whereas if we look at the footer, it has a logo, which has another model class. So it has a component logo and a model class on top of it. And in the object's navigation, we have a model class, which is for left as well. Um, if for some reason we wanted to get the logo in its original form, all we'd have to do is take out the M class that's on it, so the model class, and it'll revert back to its original form. Same with the object. Um, so with this snaps, with this method, you can pick and sh pick and move certain bits around the page instead of wondering what they're attached to. Bits can be used over and over again, and that's the whole reason for this methodology. I hope you enjoyed it. If you do, please like this video and subscribe to my channel for more like this. Thanks for watching.